Welcome to Purple Nerd Channel, a home for all those who geek out on all things Prince related. Prince was a really good friend of Donatella Versace, and in 1995 he was the star of the Versace campaign, photographed by Richard Avidon. As a way to say thank you, Prince planned on gifting her an album of unreleased material, specifically to be given away at the Versace exhibit during Fashion Week in Paris, starting on July 8, 1995. Not only was the album completed, but a photo shoot was done for the album as well. The album was to be titled Playtime by Versace. Prince changed his mind though and instead uses an opportunity to promote his upcoming album The Gold Experience, which had been shelved by Warner Brothers two years prior. The Versace Experience Prelude to Gold was instead handed out to guests who attended the event. The cassette contained snippets of songs and remixes for the upcoming Gold Experience album. The album starts off with Playtime. This song is sung from the point of view of a woman who is explaining to her lover exactly what she desires. The song is rumored to be written for Marva King as she did record her own version of this song later on. As far as what album or project this song was meant for, it's uncertain, but we are certain that her version of the song as well as Prince's version of this song were never released. <laughs> Checking the mic one, two. The Good Life Big City remix was only featured on the single that was released for the song The Good Life. The original song was part of the second album from the MPG called Exodus. This version differs slightly. Musically, it includes samples from the songs What Can I Do by Ice Cube and No Hook by Shaq. My Soul Sanctuary dates back to 1993 when it was originally just called Sanctuary. The song was originally written and performed by the artist Sandra St. Victor for her debut album of the same name. The album was never released and was canceled by Elektra Records. Through some musical connections, Prince heard about this song and contacted her as he was interested in working with this artist. He reworked the song with her, Johnny Kemp, and Tom Hammer in 1995 and recorded his own version of the song in 1996 for the album Emancipation. Oh. 18 and Over was recorded in 1994 and was built off the song Come, which would become the title track of the album of the same name. There was supposed to be a Come EP which would include this song as well as other remixes and versions of the song Come. The same can be said about the video that was recorded for this song as well. Stone is another song from Sandra St. Victor. The song was not completed when Prince first heard it, as he finished the song by adding additional lyrics as well as instruments to the song, and recorded it in 1995. This song still remains unreleased to this day. I Like It There was recorded during the same sessions for the cancelled project The Dawn. This song would find its final home on the 1996 release Chaos and Disorder. The Bang, a song that switches styles on a dime, was intentionally recorded just for this project but would not see the light of day until years later when it was finally released on 1998's Crystal Ball. I'll Never Be Another Fool was another song written and recorded by Sandra St. Victor. But her version was actually titled, I'll Never Open My Legs Again. Open my legs again. Prince reworked the song for himself in 1995, his version never being released. He would rework the song again for Shaka Khan. including it on her MPG record release, Come To My House, in 1998. Van Gogh is another song originally written by Sandra St. Victor and Tom Hammer. It was originally titled Love Is. Prince reworked and rewrote the song in 1995, and at one time considered adding it to the album Emancipation. Prince would end up giving the song to the duo known as Van Gogh, for their self-titled 1998 album. 
Poor Goo dates back to 1993. The only release of this song is a live version included on the VHS The Undertaker from 1995. This live version was available as a download through the MPG Music Club, but the studio version has never been released. Dinner with Dolores would find its home on Chaos and Disorder, and ended up being the only single released from this project. For more information about this song and its album, go ahead and check out my video I did about Chaos Disorder. I will have a link to that down in the description below. Thank you again for joining me on the channel. Please like and share this video as much as possible, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next episode where I go and get another album out of the vault from this same time period. And until that next episode, I wish you heaven.